is uh, uh, the objectives of the placement of we need to check for what is the placement and what are the inputs of the placement and type of the placement and condition and what are the optimization of the placement after the placement done what we need to check before going to CTS. Then what are the checks before starting the placement? First, we need to check whether the macros are in a fixed location or not. I mean, whether the macros are overlapping or not. Then we need to check IVO ports are fixed or not. And whether we need to check macros and physical only cells are overlapping or in the fixed location or not. If there is any uh, blockages missing, then we need to check this. Then we are using the don't touch or don't use cell attribute. We need, first we need to disable those attributes. Then uh, we need to go. For, we need to move forward to a placement stage. Then yeah, actually this is the placement. The placement is a process of finding a suitable physical location to place the standard sign in our blocks. Then. Uh, the input of the placement is uh, mm -hmm. the gate level netlist, the lips and the left and SDC file, CF file, and we have a power plan DB, right? That thing, that thing contains these um, input files like uh, gate level netlist, lib left, SDC, CF file, and all. Then extra thing is scan chain reordering file and MCMM file. Uh, these are the types of the placement. We have two types, the global placement and detail placement. In the global uh, placement, the tool will place the standard cell according to the uh, macros or hierarchical wise. But there we are facing some timing issues and congestion issues and all. And there the, the tool will not place the standard cell with the legalized location. And we are seeing some like overlapping issues in between a standard cell the cell is not placed exactly to the side rows and all. You can see this image, right? Here we can came to know that the, the standards are not placed properly. There we are seeing that some overlapping is there and the side the standards are not placed to side rows. And here we have second option like detail placement. There the tool will move the standard side to legalized location. And here we are not seeing any overlap issues. Here you can see, uh, see this, right? Here there is no overlapping between the macros and the standard cells are placed in legalized location. I mean, in the proper site row. And here we can see some timing. Uh, we can reduce, the tool will reduce the timing violation as well as the congestion. Am I clear? Yes. And then after placing the cells, we need to check uh, if there is any overlapping in between the cells or if the standard cell will be overlapping with the macros and all. Then we need to first, we need to check the uh, condition film. Uh, here we have a con uh, we have global route condition. In the tools, uh, in EDI as well as in the ICC2, we have uh, a congestion map that's called um, so if our routing track is, the available routing track is less than the required routing track, then we are facing some congestion issues. Then we have cell density issues. The cell density is like, I don't have any picture right now, but yeah, the number of the cell, that the standard cell will placed in a one particular region. Then we are facing like cell density issues. In the cell density issues only, if the cell, the, the cells having pin, right? If this, uh, the pins are more than seven or something in the particular region or in the cluster form, we are facing the pin density issue. So, so we need to resolve this thing. Uh, these are the fixtures to resolve the cell density as well as the pin density. If we have a condition, uh, we need to check whether where we are facing the condition issue. Then in between the macros, we, um, if we are facing the routing condition, then we need to create the halos uh, in the particular uh, around the macros, then the routing condition will be uh, resolved. Then if we have any cell density issue in the particular region, we need to create the partial blockage. In partial blockage also, we have some different kind. We have um, like uh, density screening partial blockage is there and normal 
partial block is there so we need to use our uh, requirement then we have ping density we can go for cell padding uh, we need to create some keyboard mark uh, like padding uh, for x and y or uh, directions right and left or top and bottom so the cell density ping density issue will be gotten clear and if we have some timing uh, violations or we need to do some optimization in the placement state then uh, if we are seeing some setup violation in the placement state then uh, we need to check whether uh, we have hvt cells in our present in our design or not so we have we need to do the vt strapping from hvt to lvt then we need to check whether the driver strength of the particular cell then whether even the driver cell of uh, driver strength of the particular cell is d1 so we need to upside the driver cell we need to check whether the uh, long net is there so we need to break the long net and by adding a buffer or by removing the buffer in the data part we can go through this technique also of after placing the after all the checks or fixes fixes are done we need to check in the placement state this is the end part of the placement stage. We need to check whether the cells or macros are legalized or not. And we need to check whether we have any uh, DRCs or D DRV. We need to check the maximum transition, maximum capacitance, and maximum span out. And we need to check the cure, I mean the setup time in the setup. And then we need to check the routing, cell density, and pin density. Yeah, this much. Yeah. Anyone have any doubt or query? Yeah, yes, teacher. You can ask. Yeah, what is the purpose of halo around the macros? If we are facing some congestion uh, in between the macros, we are facing some routing conditions, right? So then okay. we, need, we need to go for the halo. Uh, but, but, but in general, uh, every macro should be surrounded by halo, right? Uh, yes. It's, if not, uh -huh. uh, if the spacing between the macro is not enough, then we will go for the higher uh, by using some spacing or some doing some higher. Okay. Uh, one more thing. Uh, uh, which a uh, type of macro uh, it's uh, definitely need to be covered with the halos? Uh, analog macros or digital macros? Normally, digital macros. I mean, hard macros. Okay. Yeah, one more thing. Uh, what is this order of placement actually? What cells we need to place first and what cells we need to uh, place in the last step? Order of the placement, right? Uh, Placing cells. Okay, which type of cells will place first? Either macro, stab cells or logical cells. Which we are going to place first? Actually, the physical only cell is, is you mean the tab cell that was placed in the yeah. program stage thing. So we okay. need to place the hierarchical macros and cells, the logical cells. Okay, okay. First macros and then followed by logical cells and then pillars, uh, tab cells and then filters, right? Uh, yeah. First, the the, uh, the stages is like first we need to place the macros, uh, then we need to place some physical only cells like head cell or tab cell, some finger cell, some, uh, some tab cell, head cell and decap cell and all. Then we need to come from placing the logical cells into the design. Then we need to place the gap. Um, we need to use for the finger cell. Okay. Yeah. Then if we need, we can use the space cells also. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I had one doubt. Uh, like uh, this cell. Uh, like uh, we told that to reduce the pin density, they said they said that we need to do cell padding, right? Like uh, mm -hmm. cell padding means uh, leaving the distance between the uh, pin, like uh, between the pins, or what does that mean? We need to maintain some distance between some between the two cells. I mean, example, we have A and B cell, so we are facing some cell density in the in the cluster form. Then we need to give spacing. I mean. Uh, the cell padding is nothing but a keep out margin only. So we are giving. Okay. On what basis will we give give the margin? Like, will it be specified from the uh, upper order, or like we need to randomly give it according to our uh, uh, conception or something? Yeah, we need to give our according to our um uh our uh, we need to do some number of iterations 
whether we need to take some 0 0.05 microns or 1 micron we need to do for number of equation yeah thank you anyone else okay fine then thank you guys thank you so much thank you very much